What is going on guys? My name is Garrett, better known as Red Robin here on the channel. And if you're new to the Jobless Gamers, I want to welcome you because we put out daily GTA 5 videos like this one and it's a tip and tutorial video on how to work the stock market. With that said guys, let's jump into the stock market and it's going to be somewhat of an in-depth guide of how to use the stock market and just what everything like the menus and what you're exactly looking at when you use the stock market because I know a lot of you guys are confused on what's going on. Now to very basically draw this out for you guys, there are two types of markets. You have the LCN exchange and you have the boss act. The boss act is dependent on the social club so it is an online market while the LCN exchange is dependent on your single player game. So whatever you do in game affects the LCN. So now that we're in the LCN exchange, this is the home page that you will see. Now this is going to be a very, very basic guide to stocks. Then we're going to have an episode two that explains how to make a lot of money, like in the billions of dollars. Now you see the home page of the LCN exchange. This right here is a graph for those of you who don't know. Now this is not a graph of all the shares or stocks and all the companies on the LCN. This is only the top mover BOM right here guys this is only BOM okay so for everyone that thought for some reason that this was you know all the stocks on the market no it's not with that said there are market movers market movers displays the two best stocks that are perform the two best performing stocks excuse me and the three worst performing stocks we have number one Bob Mullet then we have Golden Coast Development Devon Air Cluck and Bell and Life Invader now this does not mean you need to invest into these shares and I'll explain that in another video okay this that will probably be episode 2 what this means I'm just showing you exactly what everything you see up here you see a live feed of all the shares while you're on the home page this is very common in real life this is not really needed in Grand Theft Auto it basically just shows you each and every single stock just a I guess a sliding reference I don't know what it's exactly called like a live feed of it now you go into markets here you will find every single company on GTA 5 that exists and that has a stock on the LCN so you have animal arc um, agri insurance etc etc and all these right here these are all companies and these are all their symbols that they're called symbols so let's see EMU is AMU. just they're basically just like references so you know so like the live feed doesn't have like a huge thing that says dev on air it just says DEB for dev on air now this over here is the current price of each stock as you can see it varies there's there's cheap ones and there's expensive ones this does not mean that this is a bad stock just because it's cheap it doesn't mean that like as you can see Maze Bank is $46 and is doing pretty good. Then you have Redwood doing pretty well as well, $47 a share. Then you have price movement. Price movement basically means price movement and percent change are the two things you really want to look at when you're investing. Price movement is the movement from the previous price. So let's look at let's look at Moore's Mutual Insurance. Moore's Mutual Insurance is valued at right now the current price is six dollars and sixty-five cents. This is the stock information you're going to be using to invest. So when you're when you're looking at this, this is how you're going to be able to tell you know this is what I want to put my money into. So the current price of Moore's Mutual Insurance is six dollars and sixty-five cents. The highest priced Moore's Mutual Insurance has ever been is thirty-six dollars and seventy-four cents, while the lowest price it's ever been is seventy-eight cents. The value, which is the current price that you're going to be buying at right now, if I were to hit buy. That's what I'll be buying at. The value is six dollars and sixty-five cents, and the previous price or the last price that was before this six dollars and sixty-five cents was thirteen dollars and twenty-nine cents. Then, at following the last price, you have change and percent change. This just describes the difference between the current price and the last price. If you add six dollars and sixty-three cents to six dollars and sixty-five cents, you get thirteen dollars and twenty-nine cents, and then it gives you a percent change which is 101%. So when you're looking at stock, you always want to buy low, sell high. So if I would have bought Moore's Mutual Insurance at 78 cents and I would have sold at $6.65 or even $13 or even $36, I would have been a very, very happy camper. Even if I would have bought low at 78 cents and sold for some reason at a dollar, I'd still be happy, especially depending on the amount of shares I purchased. 
Now, with all that said, let's jump into the portfolio. The portfolio is where all your your um, your stocks will be held. So you can see, you know, how they're performing. So let's just go and invest in Moore's Mutual Insurance, even though they're doing really, really bad right now. It doesn't matter because one reason why it doesn't matter is because everything in GTA 5 stock market fluctuates. There is no company in GTA 5 that will go out of business, guys. So you don't need to worry about, oh my God, it's negative 100%. I'm gonna lose so much money. Incorrect. You're never gonna lose that money because one day it will come back up. You're not gonna go out. The companies don't go out of business, so you don't need to worry about that aspect in the stock market. Let's just whatever 53,000. I couldn't get it to 50,000 exactly. Let's confirm. Let's buy it. So as you can see, I just bought some Moore's Major Insurance, and now it's in my portfolio. So. It tells me the current price, the return percent, and the profit I've made so far. The return price is negative because the stock, since I've bought it, is actually going down. And the profit is negative as well because I've actually lost money. I've lost $80, which who cares? Not that bad. While you have Cluckin' Bell, which I bought because I've tried to make this video a few times and I keep messing up. And it's, it's doing well. I mean, it's a 0.3% return, which is not a lot at all. And I'm not going to sell it at that because... You know, the last price that it was at and somehow I missed it was $120. That would have been nice to buy it at that. So the actually it's pretty much at the lowest price it's ever been. So this clock and bell is definitely going to be going up. So it's on the rise right now, as you can see. So that is the basics to the LCN exchange and the ball sack. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please be sure to leave it a like comment down below. And if you guys have any questions about the stock market, make sure you guys follow me on Twitter at Garrett underscore Sun. With a teaser to what's coming in the next episode, make sure if you have not done any of the Lester assassination missions to hold off on them. Do not do the Lester assassination missions if you want to make millions of dollars. If you have started the assassination missions but have not done all of them, because there are there's five, I believe. If you have not done all five, hold off on doing all of them. With that said, I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video, and that's probably going to be episode two with a bunch of other videos. And I'll see you guys then. Later, guys.